This here goes back out to Michael Jackson, the fellow with the smell of dead off his face. Michael, didn't you try to get your nose stuck back into your face and nobody in the house could sleep beside you? Nobody could sleep beside with the smell of dead off you? Now, I swear to my children that that's the truth, that you couldn't stick the smell of dead off your face. I think one morning you get up and your nose is from beside you on the pillar. Now, I swear in my children's life, and I swear to my lovely sister, Melanie, that's at home, but I ain't saying the truth. They put it back in, I didn't last two days, it fell off. It fell off like a big shite and had to go out, didn't it? You had a rotten nose that people couldn't stand beside with smell of dead off you. I am changing nothing. I will fight you dirty. I'll fight you fair. Yes, the guards are, is a home is looking for me. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Haven't ye got my father charged the home? Haven't ye got my father charged the home? You dirty red rasher, yeah? You dirty half a nose. Haven't you got my father charged the home for beating the head and face you instead of town with a mobile phone? Haven't ya? Haven't ya? Haven't ya? The rubbish of a house that was broke, I am wanting for that. Are you handicapped or sick or something? I am fucking God's wanting for that. And if I happen to the fellow in Innes, I am wanting for that. Who's in Innes knows that? The guards came to my grandmother's house and a number of times looking for me. A number, a number of times looking for me. Yes, I am wanted, but I'm not afraid of guards. I will go back and I'm caught and caught and I'm not and not. And what next are you going to come up with? In Robin Pants. In Robin Pants and at least. It just goes to show, Mike, right, that you're stuck for words that you have nothing else to say. Now, around Robin Nickers and Brad. Right, couldn't I very say this morning about you, about Matlands, and you Robin Nickers and Brad? But I wouldn't tell, tell lie, I tell the truth. You robbed the Matlands and you were caught by the back of the scruff. And you got a license for it. You got a license for it. Go away, you dirty old joke, yeah. I want to fight you dirty and fair, and we're fighting in England for one and Ireland for another. Do you understand that? Half a red, rotten, dead face. Dead face, it just smell a dead off you. Yeah. I just said a while ago, I swear to my children, I swear to my lovely, lovely sisters at home, that your nose fell off. Your nose was stuck into your face for about two days, and you couldn't breathe. You were taking a heart attack, had to smell a dead going up into your brain. You had to take it off, and it was from one morning you get up, and it was from beside you the pillar. What that the truth? You red, rotten, red, rotten half a nose. My video I sent to you, your fellow is set to the fights. You can't go back in it. You can't go back there. I'm going back in nothing. The only thing that I am changing, yes, is that I'm fighting you, uh, fear after. And it's not that I'm going back in it because I'm still fighting you. Just that I'm not going to give it your way, but I'm still fighting. What's going back in a thing means, no, Michael, I'm not fighting you. That's what's going back in something. I'm not going back in it. I will fight you dirty and I will fight you fear. Yes, I will. But I won't give you the satisfaction of picking one the first. We'll toss up. That's what I said. Rotten half a nose. Rotten half a nose. I'll rob the clothes. I'll mat lens. I'll rob the clothes. I'll mat lens. You know what I'm saying is the truth, and the whole country knows I'm saying is the truth. You try for this fight in conditions in knowing well that you weren't going to come to England. You weren't going to come to England. That's what you asked for a fight for. Because you want to get a little bit of a name for yourself to ask the actual fight. How can you ask a man for the fight and he won't come where he's staying? How can you ask? Shouldn't you have realized in that before you asked for a fight that you couldn't come to England? Couldn't you? Couldn't you? What guard is going to be waiting at a boat or waiting on an airplane for you for Matlands? For Matlands? And what's the Matlands you buy the whole store for £20? Who's going to be waiting? What guard is going to be waiting at an airport for you for that? They hardly wait at an airport for murder, never mind for Matlands. Never mind for a few clothes or the Matlands. I already sent my tape, and I and I sent my tape, and I got back into you in January. Is no more artists fight for you, rotten half a nose. And he said a while as well, oh, Paddy Keenan, the boy, the boy. Well, the boy is getting pulled in a minute now, because the boy stuck his nose into something that had not wanting to do with him. He did the same day before last year, uh, with Jimmy's Peter stuck his nose in until Bernie's John pulled him for it. Well, tell him from me, if you're chatting him, he's getting pulled today again for it. Do you understand that? The, 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 uh, what you do all together, you and Paddy stand together and back up one another. That's what you do all together, because the two you together, the two of you together would make one right man. Do you understand that? With your dirty, rotten, half a nose. And he say, Michael, I ain't dying and I ain't delicate. If you were half the man that I am, you holy head up high. Do you understand that? It's not a make or shape in you. All Michael Jackson's any good for is singing. He's never any good for fighting. He's never any good for fighting. You caught down a fight that you know well it can't happen. That's the reason why you caught down a fight for you know that you wasn't going to come to England. That was the whole reason why over the same Macklands, over the same Macklands. So let you and Paddy now buddy up to get along and make tapes and buddy up to another because it makes no odds anyway. He's getting pulled for what he said anyway. So it makes no difference now. I'm getting back onto you in January and be ready for a rotten half a nose. Do you think it down or a God that I'm afraid to fight you? I'm not afraid to fight you in no ways. I said it before and I'm saying it again, but you won't get it all your own way picking what fight first. We'll toss up whoever loses. We'll 
uh, the other fella picks a fight. That's how it's going rotten nose. I'm not getting back on to onto you until January. I already made four fight tapes this morning. I explained everything to them. So that's it. And for the ones that are saying that I am not wanting for breaking the house in Cog, they're making a laugh for themselves. They're making a laugh for themselves because the guard is up looking for me. And the ones in Innes and Paddy saying he didn't. The guards came to Cork and arrested Jim Marvin for three days and brought him to Innes, questioning him about him, and sent off files, files to the DPP. The guards came to my grandmother's house in Innes, low sign looking for me. Are you sick or are you handicapped? So, you treat, so what you're trying to say is, Listen very carefully and talk about it. You're wanted through all the UK with licenses this and license that for robbing a few clothes on the Macklands. That is a side you buy the whole store for £20. And I'm not supposed to be wanting then for houses being broken, fellas being tacked. I'm not supposed to be wanting for that then. Will you go and get since you're dirty with your dirty rotten half a nose now? I'm not replying back to you no more until January. And that's it. Dead face.